Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been MIA between the move and organizing the apartment. Michael has been and was on call the whole entire move process so it was kind of all on me while still going to work and trying to maintain this content. Just a little bit of an update. So I am still with my practice in New York City and I'm doing a few other things. Some from home, some not. So yeah, other than that, let's get into my everyday makeup routine. This is what I wear typically to work. And this is what I wear typically if I'm like, I don't know, going somewhere that maybe to dinner or something that I just want to say very natural and not super, super, super glam. Although on this camera, it looks very glam, but it's very easy actually. I will film another video with a more glam routine. So if you want that, just leave a comment below. But other than that, let's get into it. Okay, so I already dried my hair. I will go over what blow dryer and brush I use when I curl my hair, but typically I will just blow dry my hair, do my makeup, and then curl my hair. So let's begin with my everyday makeup tutorial or products that I do. So typically I will either just wear my tinted sunscreen or if I'm feeling like I want a little bit more coverage, then I'll show you guys what I do. This is by Isden. You've probably already seen my skincare routine and I already have that on. I have my sunscreen, my vitamin C, my moisturizer, my eye cream. Sometimes if I'm just want to run errands, I'll just put this on and some mascara and good to go. Otherwise, I will show you what I do. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40. Um, it has niacinamide hyaluronic acid. It's pretty much a tinted sunscreen, but also a skin tint. This is my winter color, but what I like to do is take a little bit of this. So I'll put that on the back of my hand, a drop. And then I'll mix my summer foundation. This is the Born This Way by Too Faced. And I'll put a tiny little drop just to get the color. And then I'll mix it on the back of my hand. I'll do this. And then I'll grab my Beauty Blender and press it into my skin. So I like using the Beauty Blender because I feel like it gives it a more natural coverage. Sometimes I'll use a brush if I want more coverage, but typically for my everyday, I just like a Beauty Blender. I have a few blemishes here, but that's essentially it. Take it down your neck. Okay, so skin is done. Next, I'll take my concealer. For the summertime, I mix two. I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I use the colors Medium 2 and Medium 1. So Medium 1 is custard and that's my winter color and then Medium 2 is ginger and that's my summer color. So what I do is I put a little dab on each side. Then I put the darker color just in like this. And then I'll take my beauty blender again and blend, blend, blend. So this is just my quick everyday makeup routine that I wear to work. I can do a get ready with me when I like actually go somewhere fancy and I do a more coverage and more makeup. But that's that. I don't set my under eyes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But if I do, I use the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. I would sometimes just take the beauty blender dab it and then just tint it. I crease, everyone has fine lines, so it'll crease a little bit, so that's that. So then I go on to my bronzer. Sometimes I'll use this contour wand and I'll kind of put a little devil on each cheekbone and contour with this liquid bronzer. But for every day, I use my NARS Laguna bronzer. I've been using this, I think, since high school. It's my favorite bronzer ever. And take my brush. This is the Real Techniques brush. I love this brush. And essentially just contour on the cheekbones. What I'll do is bring it up to the hairline. Now remember, we're wearing a mask at work, but I just do this to feel good. If you're going out, you could do a little bit on the jawline there. That's really that. Do you see these blemishes? Maybe I'll put a little bit more of my concealer, but it's covered by a mask anyway. Okay. So we have our concealer, bronzer, base. I like to wear a little blush. I use two different ones. So sometimes I use the NARS Orgasm or NARS Torrid. And then sometimes my other one is by Charlotte Tilbury called Ecstasy. So this is a lighter one. This is a more corally one. This is my summer. This is my winter. 
I'll just take my brush and just put a little color to the apples of the cheeks like that. Okay, so next are my eyebrows. So I naturally have pretty thick eyebrows. Um, I regret all those years of waxing them when I was in high school, but what can you do? So I fill in my eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I personally like the slanted tip, as you can see, just because I feel like I can just kind of draw them in quicker. Kind of fill it in like this, and then fill it into the top. I kind of just like outline my brow, but also fill in any hairless area. So I did one. I'll do the same on this side. That's that. I ran out of my Benefit brow gel. This is just an over the counter CoverGirl one that works just as great and it's a clear gel. My eyebrows are very curly, so I like to tame them with a gel. Okay, next is eyes. So I'll go back to my beauty blender and I'll kind of put some of the concealer on the eyelid like this. And then I typically just wear like a winged liner and mascara and then I'll put a little bit of, this is the Too Faced Peach Palette and I'll mix these two colors just to put it in the crease. I learned this from years of watching makeup tutorials with my oldie but a goodie. I've been watching her forever, Stephanie. She's on my subscribe YouTubers. So I just put a little bit in the crease right here. And according to her, this gives your eyes some dimension and I agree. And same thing, I just put it in the crease. Regarding brushes, my brushes are kind of mixed. I have some Real Techniques, I have some MAC ones. This is also Real Techniques. I sometimes use this one, the concealer, just to kind of pat under my eye. Okay, so now that we have some dimension to our eyes, I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of a winged liner. I use the Stila Say All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. It's this eye right here. I'm gonna do that in the mirror. I don't line the actual full eye. I just kind of do like the end of my eye and just give it a little wing. So I'll show you. Lined my eyes. I realized that this one's a little bit longer so I'm just gonna put a tad bit more on the left. So now that my eyes are lined, we go into my mascara. I usually put a primer and I just use any you know cheap over-the-counter primer, usually the L'Oreal primer, but I ran out of that, so I'm just going to curl my lashes. This eyelash curler is from Sephora, it's just a Sephora brand. Next, so I've tried every mascara under the sun, um, high end, low end, and I always, 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 this is my favorite, is my L'Oreal Telescopic and the gold one in the blackest black. Because I personally like a brush like this this, oh gosh, there's a piece of hair, brush like this to lengthen and separate my lashes. And then I go in with the It Superhero Mascara, which is this brush to kind of add volume. I'm really picky about brushes just because I have certain brushes just clump on my eyelashes. So I will go in with this one first. Okay, so this is just with the telescopic. So as you can see, this mascara makes my eyelashes super long. And how do I do it? I kind of just go underneath the lash line and lift, and then I'll go kind of like this way to separate them. Okay, now I'm gonna do my next. Also guys, how awesome is having double sinks? Now I could really blame Michael for the mess because his sink will always be dirty and mine will always be clean. Okay, the L'Oreal Telescopic is on. Now I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetic and I'm just going to just kind of coat them. And then I put a little bit on the bottom. Okay, and that is all. Sorry, this took longer than I expected, but that's really it. When I do a little bit more glam, I'll videotape that if I'm going out or if I'm going to any party or wedding, if we have any. So this is the end of my everyday makeup routine. I'm not gonna curl my hair today. I'm gonna do that in another video. I'm gonna keep it straight. Typically, when I straighten my hair, I will use a round brush like this 
and then a professional, oops, and a professional grade blow dryer. Reason being is my hair is very curly and frizzy, and if I don't use a good blow dryer, it just gets frizzier. Also, I do have keratin in my hair. I do it in the summertime. It just makes my life so much easier when one, I don't have to spend an additional 30 minutes blow drying my hair. I never use a flat iron to straighten my hair. My mom would kill me. So I only use a round brush. Two, the keratin just calms down the frizz so much, especially in the summertime with the humidity. So stay tuned for my everyday curling routine. But this is the brush that I use and how I blow dry my hair, I typically just put it in different layers. So if I was gonna do this layer, I would just kind of curl this like this and then pretty much blow dry it. And that's really it. And that's how I do my whole entire hair with blow drying. I never flat iron my hair, it just breaks your hair, so yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the makeup routine that I do pretty much every day. If I'm just running errands, I will probably skip everything and just put my tinted sunscreen and my mascara. I always, always, always wear my mascara and tinted sunscreen as my makeup, and then in the winter time, I'll use the Ilia tinted sunscreen. I will film my more glam makeup routine when I actually have some more glam to go, so stay tuned for that as well. Otherwise, if you have any questions on products or anything along those lines, let me know. I will link everything in the bottom. Other than that, stay tuned for more videos. Bye!